Yo, welcome back to the channel. JC here. Um, today we're bringing you something different. Um, same but different, obviously. I'll be treading the pavement up to the site. Visiting the site, hopefully. Uh, getting the drone up. And then calling it a day. Uh, Target is a brewery. So um, it uh, looks like a specialist sort of brewery. And um, yeah, my ultimate outcome from this would be to get a pint. But well, let's have a look. Thank you. Uh, all right, let's see what the crack is down here. So um, we're in a village called Burton Wood. It's near Warrington. Um, yeah, so I don't know how this is going to turn out, but it looks like a fantastic little place to go to visit. I don't think there's even a pavement there. St Mary's Centre, Penny's Lane, I won't worry about that. Bus stop a bit worse for wear. Don't often see those now. Worse for wear bus stops, you see that? It's terrible really, isn't it? So, um... Won't be doing much talking, guys. Uh, just keen to get on site, yeah. Right, the pavement disappears here. So, won't be making any more progress here. We'll have to cross over the road. Green Cross Road. Look right, look left, etc. Broad Lane. the road going rather well so far isn't it so um double yellows folks really really important um community Burtonwood oh there you go Burtonwood community lorry watch scheme in operation so interesting The old BT, you know, remember the BT logo? Used to blow up. Ah, oh, a bit of antlers clashing there. White man van versus grey man van. I think white man van wins as he tends to do. Nice bit of uh, forest in the back. What I like to see. Bit of a uh, result of wind damage, I'd say. <laughs> nice little, tiny little pavement. Obviously, Burtonwood Council or Warrington Council doesn't really care about double buggies here. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh dear, what has it come to, yo? Hey. Walking the streets of Burtonwood. But at least there's a pavement. So, um. Oh, this is nice. Look at this. Any fishies down there? No, I'd say they're dead. I can smell something in the air. It smells a bit hoppy. Collis green, okay.
crikey, these cars are going fast. Oh look, Desperado's bottle. It's a bit of a snub, isn't it? Right, let's cross the road here. Hopefully we'll be able to get out. I like the way they've got a, a little thing cut out of the road, so... Um, basically, lorries can turn left quite easily. So there you go. Thomas Hardy, Burtonwood. Can you see that? Right, ah, oh, look. Right. right. Thomas Hardy. Oh yeah, Carl's my name. I come from Liverpool. Um, would it be possible to get a tour? No, of, no tours. No. Is it not no, open? They're on, they're on like a semi-lockdown at the moment. I noticed the um, entrance up there was boarded off. Yeah, yeah. Is that well, why? They're, they're, they're doing away with that, you say. Uh, oh, they're going to. It's going to be redeveloped. Oh right, but there's nothing open to the public, no. No, not at the moment. It might, no, maybe no, a future. No, maybe, yeah. Yeah. It's all redevelopment at the moment. They're doing projects in there and they're changing right. it. But they're not going to get rid of it, surely. There's yeah. Oh, that's how it's going along. Which bit's going? The chimney. What's the chimney for, anyway? It was a part of the brewery process. They don't need it anymore? But they won't get rid of the actual brewery? They can still make... Well, they, they're not making brewery. They, they, they haven't made um, any beer here since... Well, 2000, I think. They haven't made beer since 2000. Well, until Cores left. Cores left in 2020. So oh, Coors used to own it? Yeah. But who took over well, then? Well, they were mixed. Partner, partnership. Oh, who who, who um, owns it now then? Uh, Thomas Hardy Group. Are they not making... What are they making? No, they just bottle it now. It gets ah. brought in, they bottle it. So they don't need half the equipment here then? This no, that's why they're getting rid of half of the tanks. They could sell that for scrap metal, couldn't they? Well, I think they've sold half of it already. Half they? Gone. Yeah. Is it? So there won't be no source for a good, good one. And when they do do a tour, it'll only be of the yeah, be bottling like element. Just a bottling area. Yeah. That's it. So there's no public shop even to buy a beer. That's gone. But I see there's a pub down the corner that was. Yeah, that's. Uh, Is that, that sold off as that, well? That was um, offices. It was transformed into offices. Are they, are they going to get rid of that? Post's been shut since 1999. No chance of a pint now. So they got no chance. That's never been. So they got rid of all the. the p- they're all gone. There's nothing in there. And they're not selling the offices though, are they? No, they're all in there. They're, that's getting demolished. Demolished. It's beautiful. It's Isn't it a great two? That's a great two. Surely. They tried to say. It, they tried to think it was a great two, but the great people said it's not. And it's cracking down the side. And is it? Yeah, Subsidence? So it's falling down. There's no if chance. Go, if you go in the top offices in there. And will, the you, will you let do, me go down do, there? Do, can, do. I, can, I, can I have a look at it? No? You can have, but you can't go in though. I can, from the outside, from the public, I can. Yeah, you've got like, we boarded it off, as yeah. you can see. Yeah, can I stay on the public you, side of the barrier stay on then? The public side of the you barrier. don't mind you if I take, do that? You can take a picture. Oh, as you thank can you. see now, it's all storage. Oh. You see all the glass? No, I didn't get a close well, look. All, I was all a the glass is all stored down there in the right. where the car park right. used to be. Right, cool. I'm going to take a few pictures over there. I might take a few pictures over here. Yeah, but, well, um, I can't allow you on. I won't, I won't go on site then. Right, cause, um, no, don't worry. Nice to meet you. Carl's my name. No problem, mate. Thanks, take care of yourself. You Thanks too. for all that. Bye now. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Can't allow me on. So we've got a bit of information there. Um... 
from that gentleman, Thomas Hardy Group, Burton Woods, you know. Traffic from the left. So I'm gonna go down here. So yeah, wow. See, it's, it's exactly places like this that I want a video, you know? This is what this channel's about, partly, you know? It's about getting bits on camera. Hi, lads. Um, it's about getting things on camera that wouldn't usually be on camera, or that's about to get dis demolished, right? Because, let's face it, property prices, demand to build houses, and monstrosities like this, beautiful as they are, they've got to go. People need places to live. You know, this is the modern society. This is, this is what it's all about, lads. YouTube, mobile communication, 4G, 5G. You know, 3G's really going to go probably very soon in this country, in the UK. Other countries might be laughing at us. You're still on 3G, you lads. Go with a picture. So this, this chimney there was part of the process. Crap. So let's guess what that is. I'm guessing Vodafone, because Vodafone are awesome. What is it? Is there a Vodafone? Hutchinson, so it's the Chinese. Holy moly. Right. Uh, I believe I'm correct in saying Chinese. Getting, you know, stand to be corrected like the man in the orthopedic shoes. Now, this would be a perfect place to get drunk of. <coughs> If there were no trees, but there are plenty of trees, so let's head down here. I can't let you on site, okay? That's fair enough, though, isn't it? So those are the pubs slash offices down there. So let me try and get a bit closer because it's obviously these, you know, no one's gonna document this lads. No one. It's almost like the Labour Party of progress, isn't it? Because everything's getting centralised. You know, look at this. Centralised breweries. It's market forces, yeah, but independence like this. Take a few pics of this. That, that's the chimney. Ah, oh, lads, look at this. That hardware, what I wouldn't give to go down there and just put my hands on the cold, rusty metal. Oh, this is not grey too. Come on, lads. Come on. Come on. I'll have to cross the road. Well, actually, no. Let's just walk on here. It's not pavement, but it's a verge, so. I'll just stop there, because. Right. Right, out on solid, solid ground. You can see where I walk down here, and then it goes to this. Uh, this. 
looks then um, all like it's I'd say this is this is public this bit here I might be wrong um, you know gonna stand to be corrected but slight change in tarmac there you know but uh, security said I could say this side of the barrier so got a little bit of detail here with the place we've got, um, got some bottles there as you said it's been bottled visitors only Thinking where the best place to go. Oh, lads. Yeah, it's going to have to be here, isn't it, really? Look at this. <clears throat> I'd say it's going to be here, lads. Right, let's get Jimmy up here. All right. So, let's get the Jimmy out of his bag. Of course, he's quite... <laughs> Jimmy's kept quite warm in there, you know, because, um, you know, he's got some sensitive bits and uh, processes that need to keep working. So don't want to get him too cold, obviously. Battery's not looking too healthy. So we're going to pop the battery out. Poplar. <clears throat> Smash a new one in. That's what it's about, you know, coming prepared, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah. Right. That's Jimmy's little song. I am ready. I am ready, master, to fly where you want me to go today. Well, Jimmy, I would like you to go to the Battlemood Brewery, if you don't mind. Is that okay with you? Yes, master, I'll go to the Brantwood Brewery. Good, Jimmy. Make sure you fly nice and high. Um... And behave yourself up there, yes. No problem, Master. I will behave myself. So Jimmy's got, basically, he said he's going to behave himself while he's up there. So, you know, we're going to go for a, hopefully a nice flight. Hopefully I brought all, the, all my bits that I can fly. I feel like I'm missing something. Am I missing something? Kind of am, but luckily I've got a spare phone here, so it should be should be fine. Just have one one other look in my pockets. Nope, we're missing a phone. Never mind. Never, never mind. Let's get this show on the road. Let's get the that extra extension bit out. Because you know we know things happen, don't we? We know there's um, sometimes things need to be done and. You know, you need to make it up on the spot and stuff and, you know, it's be about being prepared, isn't it? We like to be prepared here at JC Audits. Um, I say we, of course, it's still the Royal We. Uh, visitors, so this was visitors parking down here, as you can see. It's just such a crying shame, lads, isn't it? The make of that. Such a crying shame. But you know, it's the way things go, isn't it? Grade two listed building. I would have thought so, lads. You know, I'm no, no specialist. Uh, so we've got 16, 16 satellites have hooked up here. So we're looking, we're looking good. We're looking great. There's a slight bit of spotting. Nothing. I wouldn't call it. <coughs> <coughs> I wouldn't call it rain at all, but I'm just keeping on the lookout for for rain proper. So we are ready to fly. Right. So I'll turn this up so you get um, a nice little uh, announcement as well. You can hear that. That'll be slightly different. Okie doke. So are we ready? There's plenty of traffic around here, so. I'm gonna actually watch where I want to. Don't want any rubber necking. So Jimmy is launched. The home point has been updated. Please be mindful of the new return to home point. No so. obstacle avoidance mode. Please fly with 
So let's get Jimmy um, Jimmy's visuals launched, as it were. Because we do want uh, nice visuals, don't we? We, we want to make sure we are actually filming. So there we go. It is slightly windy, so I'm going to turn it up a little bit for sport mode. There we go. So make sure we're just keeping our, our line of sight here. Um, just pay really good attention, trying to fly over the site as much as possible. So we get some, we can see the gatehouse structure down there. That's where I talked to the gentleman. Very nice gentleman, wasn't he? Right, let's do a uh, aerial shot here. Let's see what the crack is from above. 80 meters. Right, we'll leave it 100 meters. So what we're doing now is we're just scooting around. Well, we keep an idea of the drone's orientation in space. So I know if something appeared like a 747 at 300 feet, I know which way to go. You know, I know who would win. It would be Jimmy, Jimmy would win. Hey, but I'm just saying. So we're gonna come down a bit. Hi, All right, wins. lads. Please yeah. Caution. Lads, it's actually, um, it's getting a little bit too wet for my liking. You know, so I'm, and it's also, it also says it's high winds as well, so I'm gonna to start to bring Jimmy back. And you can hopefully see where we are. 73 meters. Three meters per second speed. You see we're down here. See where the barrier is. Yeah. Not looking ideal, but just to just to kind of get a circling shot as we circle around and prepare for our descent. And lads, we're keeping it short, lads, because it's still sprinkling. Um, I wouldn't say it's raining, but for me, personally, it has now reached a situation where I'm thinking, yeah, it might rain. So for me and Jimmy, I bid you all Farewell, and uh, just checking traffic, traffic check, traffic check, traffic check. Okay, clear, clear, and down. Yeah, and I'll see you Landing. in the next video. Yover and out.